Beru Kiker, my passing budget, Makame Gwatini. I welcome all of you for today's council business, which is budget approval for the financial year 2023-2024. You are most welcome. I communicate my special regard uh, for your accomplished assumption of your various offices. More especially, allow me uh, to thank the Almighty God for the best he has done in our life. Honorable members, it is always my pride to have you in this council. However, allow me to peruse some of the fundamental issues in the regards of the better performance of the council in this regime. <coughs> we are in for a budget. A uh, budget, welcome, my bear. I've uh, always been a different stakeholders to show my part. I'm going to pay the tech where all of you been in any budget, including the LC ones. The area members of parliament, Makamegwa Machalo, Amere, Dennis, and Khalid, budget of my we're passing budget, Makamegwa, even though Jim Mukene, Uber Kabila Chen, but we manage uh, to approve our budget in a good way. Thank you. Today, the 30th of May, the year of the Lord 2023, it has been my great honor to have attended the council meeting of Kitgum Municipal. It is a great experience having listened carefully to the deliberation of the members, having known some issues. What is fortunate enough is that most of the things that were said has already been worked on. For example, the Youth Meet program, I have been in touch with the Permanent Secretary for Ministry of Finance, Mr. Gobe, to ensure that the 13 billion youth meet fund that was actually swept out of the municipal account is reverted back to municipality in order to accomplish the remaining task of the road and the market. I am happy also to inform uh, our people that this morning, 8.2 billion that we really fought for, I went before the budget committee to ensure that that money is allocated in this financial year. The 8.2 billion has entered in the account of the municipal this morning, the 30th of May. And there is a balance of 5 billion, 5.4 billion, which is remaining out of the 13 billion. That we are still pushing for it so that the money comes. My main aims at the moment is to ensure that we accomplish the task at hand the youth meet, the road program, and also we finish the issues of the market such that we begin using the new premises that Kitgum municipality and Kitgum districts has attained. I am equally delighted to all the area councillors for of Kitgum municipality for the great work they are doing. And I pledge total commitment as the member of parliament for Kitgum municipality, at least the leadership that has come in office now seems ready to work as a team. And that is what we want. I received the invitation officially. I even met him in person. So I had to honor the invitation. And this is the beginning of the cooperation that we shall push forward. However, even if I had not been attending council before, but have been working with the technical staff and the political wing, and that is why I was able to ensure that the 8.2 billion is allocated back to Kitgum municipality and many other issues that some of them came to my office in Kampala, even here in Kitgum office, and we have been analyzing them analytically and working on them. I hope right now, as Kitgum municipality, we are left with hard work. We need to join hands together, we need to unify, we need to forgive one another on the political lenses. We need to ensure that we develop strong zeal to work as a team to create the Kitgum municipality that the people of Kitgum deserve. Together we will succeed. My name is Daniel Orama. I'm the former speaker of Kitgum municipality. Um, how I know about my budget, budget it's, a, it's one of the things that uh, council has the obligation to pass and not to be delegated. 
And then uh, when I talk a little bit on uh, what we call budget processes, these are some of the processes that begin in the month of July by actually things to do with the community need assessment and then after the community needs assessment it comes to the division level uh, the budget is brought for a conference that is called budget conference and then later on it is laid by the secretary for finance and then after laying the budget by secretary finance this budget is finally deferred back to different committees for scrutiny now uh, in the committee of council this uh, committee of council it is an organ actually which has been mandated by law to perform its function on behalf of council. So in the committee, the law says that in the committee, the advisor of the committee is the town clerk for the municipalities and the town councils. But for the district is the cow. That means a town clerk is a full-time advisor, legal advisor to council. Now, if committees are doing their things, committees are doing their exercise, the town clerk and the heads of department must open up there must be no issues untouched. Every issue must be brought to book. Whether it requires political intervention, it requires technical intervention, it must be brought to the attention of the committee. And in an event where the technical people fail to provide the legal advice to the committee inside the committee, they should never try to provide legal advice or the term technical advice in the council. Because a committee is an arm of council that does their work on behalf of council and they only report like a budget when it is to the level of committee scrutiny always when council is sitting to approve in council as we don't want to approve the budget we don't want to approve that is absolutely very wrong because you must involve yourself into the multi-stakeholders engagement process from community level to committee level and at council level so if a councillor comes to council and says, I don't want to pass a budget, that is something which is very funny. Now, in an event where technical people hide certain things inside the budget and they fail to interpret to councillors, councillors must have this document. You go back with, with it home. In the dock of the gang, there's what we call budget review that takes place is an every after six months a budget must be reviewed so if you are not contented by what takes place in the council or what has taken place in the council you go back with your document sit review analyze sternalize and then make sure that you scrutinize effectively because chawa market meal for councils are always limited so in the recalo in the first committee meeting that the woman was passing budget, but I saw inside the budget that there is a gap here, and now you bring it forward. So after six months, the speaker should call for budget review, and when budget review is called, this is where some of these issues are handled. Then budget document did my right. I don't think they will have time to scrutinize it all. If you are in a committee of health, you now defend committee of health, and only challenge works. If you are in works, you defend the Committee of Works recommendation and challenge that one in health and education. So basically that is the operationalization of council and the obligation of council when it comes to issues of budget approval. This, this budget has very good components of developmental expenditures, uh, especially in the Health Center 3, especially in uh, Ujuma primary school and in the areas of road development grants. So it has some significant components of developmental intervention. I strongly believe uh, if this budget is properly implemented to the minutest details, it will help to push Ketgum Municipal Council to the next limit I want also to thank the Speaker of Council. This was his maiden uh, speakership, and uh, he enhanced and hushed the new budget of 2023-2024. I want to thank my brother for doing a, a good job. On the 30th of May, 
mawe au twin one hard budget ma make wa chalo ki municipal council donc ana tiki pochi yetu twal ni kerebe di most of the budget templates king of monen in the budget tije mu kene ma peo nyote peo be kanen because of the differences in how the ipfs keep coming ma wa tiki gen by by 15th of, of of june no the budget outlay is no okati we kwa nen ka kanya no pero oberti ye pian ke nen no the budget no wa car mo car ke ka enini uh most of the money that we used to receive as council especially the exgracia honoraria it is not being seen in the in the budget templates chi atiki gen ni in in the due cost we shall receive this kind of money that is one thing uh atiki portal kerebete council tin gubero ki neno gi me passing their budget we accepted the budget we are passing revenue enhancement plan mabe we are passing uh, procurement plan mabe we are passing uh, the work plan the annual work plan we are passing mabe and the budget itself we are going to mabe